Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of a from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. To buttress this point, Jesus was speaking and he said, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. He said, but I am come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Are we together? In Matthew chapter 10, I believe from verse 7, he was commissioning the apostles, the disciples now, and he made before he started talking about signs and wonders. He said, as ye go, preach, saying, there was an exact content to the message he didn't say as ye go well just say whatever you want to say as ye go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand meaning within your reach and then verse 8 demonstrates the validity of that kingdom by healing the sick cleansing the lepers raising the dead casting out devils giving freely but the message is in verse 7 the kingdom of heaven is at hand so every ministry that must find expression every organization must have their mandate and their message clearly spelled please look up now i teach especially in ministers conferences when i charge ministers especially on this point i tell them that god has called different ministers to do several things it is the mandate and the assignment of every man of god to insist that the subject matter that relates to the area of call and mandate becomes one of the truths that are most surely believed among the people is that true let me give you an instance if you go to canaan land to our father in the gospel bishop Oedipo, there are many things that you hear people know but a typical dedicated covenant winner when you speak to them as touching the matters of faith they live they breathe faith because in one word the theme of that commission is faith are we together yes respectfully speaking if you go to say mountain of fire and miracle ministries you know you step the, from the gate you will start praying <laughs> hallelujah it doesn't matter whether you are saved or not you can be saved later on as you go but from that place because the the energy of the mandate will force you into the vision is someone learning already it's important that every vision that must thrive especially to a global scale the people who are connected within that vision must understand what they represent great organizations across the world both in the christendom and the secular they have all kinds of creeds that indoctrinate the workforce helping them to understand these as a basic modus operandi of the company if you meet someone who works say in mcdonald's and you ask them certain things about the, it will be an embarrassment to the company that they just say me i'm selling here i don't even know what we are here for it's important you understand your message many believers and many organizations are not able to thrive because there is confusion and haziness as far as understanding the message is concerned number two very quickly for time the second essential that every calling every ministry must have is the strategy for execution i call it the pattern it's not enough to have the message you must have is st the strategy for execution in the kingdom we call it the pattern it's not enough to have a message you must have a pattern back to matthew chapter 10 and i'll begin my reading from verse 5 lend me your attention please be patient as we read watch this jesus is commissioning the 12 now the bible says then these 12 Jesus sent forth and commanded them saying, watch, watch this now. He didn't just give them the great commission. He's revealing to them a pattern and a strategy. Go not the way of the Gentiles and into any of the Samaritans enter ye not. Uh -huh, verse 6. 
it says but rather go to the lordship of the house of israel and as ye go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand verse 8 heal the sick cleanse the lepers raise the dead cast out devils freely you have received freely give verse 9 it says provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses uh-huh nor script for your journey neither two coats neither shoes nor yet staffs for the workman is worthy of his meat notice what he's giving them now now watch this he says verse 11 please and into whatsoever city or town you enter don't just start shouting and preaching it says inquire who is who in it is worthy and there abide till ye go tens 12 reading to 16 and when ye come into a house salute it he says and if the house be worthy let your peace come upon it but if it be not worthy let your peace return to you and what and whosoever shall not receive you nor hear your words when ye depart off, out of that house or city shake off the dust of your feet verily i say unto you it shall be more tolerable for the land of sodom and gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city the last verse it says behold i send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves everybody says strategy so you would see the disciples behaving in a certain way very strange and an unfamiliar path but they were walking the pattern that they were given listen just because you have a correct mandate does not mean you will succeed it is important that you understand the pattern hallelujah two people can have the same mandate exactly the same the difference will be in the pattern that god has given them are we together very very important number three the third essential are you learning already the third essential that any ministry must have is the platform so number one the mandate number two the pattern number three the platform you must have a structure that allows you to do what you are doing that structure can be your throne if you are Joseph or Esther it doesn't have to be a church or a ministry that structure can be your business anything that puts you to that elevated position where you are able to carry out your mandate with ease is called your platform for most people they think a platform is just going to register the name of a ministry or the name of an organization no 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 the platform represents any structure physical or otherwise that is able to put you in a position where your voice can be heard influence is very powerful without a platform you will not be able to communicate the counsel of god no matter how sincere you are koinonia now this ministry for instance is a platform that has given us the influence the credence the visibility to be able to communicate the counsel of god freely this is powerful there are several thousands across the globe right now connecting across the social media space there are several others that will be following by way of rebroadcast there are several thousands others right here on site you can imagine because of the power of a platform hallelujah number four what is the fourth essential you need for any vision to experience the light of day you need resources you need resources and resources are twofold first and most important human resources and then material or financial resources please write this we're learning you need resources in romans chapter 10 when you read from verse 14 and 15 paul is teaching us now how then shall they call upon him in whom they have not believed how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard and how shall they hear without a preacher notice the progression the lesson now is in verse 15 and how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things so it is important to have a preacher and it's important that that preacher be sent 
you need resources there are many great visions that are limited today because of the bankruptcy of human and financial resources remember Haggai chapter 1 and verse 8 Haggai chapter 1 and verse 8 very prophetic scripture go up the mountain he says and bring wood and build the house and I will take pleasure in it and I will be glorified go up the mountain resources are very important I have met men of God I have met several people including entrepreneurs who say apostle listen only God knows what is burning and boiling in my spirit as far as destiny actualization is concerned but I am incapacitated if you do not have men you will usually not have resources and if you have resources without men you will be frustrated because there are many things money cannot do hallelujah when God wants to honor a man he gives you access to men then he will help you with resources there are many people who will run away from men and chase money it's a very big mistake hallelujah the money is in the pockets of men so if you chase the money without the men you will be a thief you will still find yourself looking for men but in a wrong way hallelujah but resources are very important i submit to you by the integrity of god's word there are many books today that deserve to be written across the globe many people will tell you i had an encounter with jesus and god has placed something in my heart but because of the bankruptcy of human and financial resources they are not able to go far there are many many ministries one of the blessings that god has given us is the ease of access to resources and this is what has made it it's made it easy to be able to communicate the gospel in truth with power and integrity imagine how saddening it would be for a pastor that whilst you're standing you are preaching you are thinking right now you see there was a phase in our lives and in ministry where we experienced the other side of preaching when you are owing and having all kinds of things and it's not good it can kill revelation it's not only demons just the worry of knowing that you, as soon as this service is over diesel transportation and then you can imagine a ministry this size imagine what the logistics that goes in imagine some of the ministries of our fathers across the globe it takes a lot you need resources men and then and then financial resources so you have to learn how to make those resources available to you God's way with integrity playing crooks and pranks and naughty and dirty manipulations in a bid to have access to men or in a bid to have access to resources will eventually backfire it's a matter of time can I tell you people do not have time wasting money on a foolish person people are not idiots they vet you and they make sure that you are worthy of their investment nobody will give you one naira and one dollar if you are not serious it is not money that makes a vision money only amplifies a vision your seriousness your commitment your dedication your servant heart your integrity people look at this and let me tell you when people find you brought by god but supported by your truthfulness there is no limit to what people can do to support you take this from me your support is only as easy as your seriousness if you are not serious forget about support hallelujah just asking people to give you money because you feel you don't have money is almost fraud if not fraud there has to be a justification are we together i'm not talking about money but it's amazing how people just carelessly make a demand and believe that the whole nations should just give them money bless them for what people have to ensure number one you are serious with god two that you are a serious person first but if and when they do find you worthy of their investments, I repeat, there is no limit. Let me tell you the truth. Givers have not finished on earth. Oh. It's just that people are not visionary enough to make their giving worth the while. So for a preacher here who is saying, Apostle, I've tried. This money thing is not coming. Among the many ways it comes is to be serious with both God and yourself. 
and you are going to be serious for a long time and give the people an opportunity to watch to vet and even test your integrity is someone learning the same person who will not give you hundred thousand can give another person one billion naira. it's not about being greedy is that they've not found you to be serious enough I want to hold a small program maybe a small worship concert our budget is hundred thousand and the man will not give you he will keep asking you questions when were you born again who was there when you were born again who followed you up you know and you are saying is this what you are doing to me and yet for someone else they will come and sign a check 500 million 100 million 10 million and say this is our own honor and by God's grace it will not be the last time and sometimes they will do it and you will be aware Some of this blind claiming of realms that you have not gotten to by growth is only a mockery of your spiritual life. Settle with God, stay with God. John Wesley said, set yourself on fire and the nations will come to watch you born. That is true. Hallelujah. Are we together? My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands yes you Sing it one more time. Yes, So essential number one for every call and every mandate is that you must have and understand and know how to effectively communicate the message given to you. Number two, you must understand your pattern. The pattern always controls the glory. The pattern always controls the glory. The Lord told Moses in the book of Leviticus, he says, this is what the Lord command that ye should do and the glory shall appear unto you. So the pattern or the strategy for execution. Number three is the platform. You need to build a platform. Number four is resources. Number five, the backing. The fifth essential, the backing. In this case now, the anointing and the spiritual empowerment that support your call. Now you have told people you were called by God. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.